Hey everyone, welcome to the second episode in this series called Creating Your Executive Brand. All right, let's dive into this. Did you get your mind right? That's what we spent last week talking through. Did you sit down and did you, did you get your mind right? If you didn't, grab the workbook, go ahead and do the exercise from last week, because this week we are diving into the purpose of your executive brand. What in the heck is a brand? Why does it matter? We have to understand what a brand is, specifically an executive brand, and we must figure out why it matters before we can even get to how we're going to create it. It's really important. This is a process we always follow here at Legend Leaders. It doesn't matter what I'm teaching you. It doesn't matter the strategy that I'm imparting upon you. You must understand what and why before I can teach you how to get it done. Okay, so that's what we're going to do here. Today, we're going to talk about the what and the why relative to your executive brand. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. You are probably thinking, if this is your first time stepping into an executive seat, and I will tell you that the majority of women I work with, that is exactly the case. The majority of women that we serve here at Legend Leaders, not all, but the majority, are newly promoted corporate executive women. They're stepping into the executive ranks for the very first time. And so if that's you, I'm going to be speaking to you very clearly. If it's not you and you're past that, you'll remember this nonetheless, okay? It'll be a little flashback to something that you experienced when you did step into your executive role for the first time. And that's this. As I'm talking to you about your brand, you're probably thinking at some level, Katrina, I have a brand. My brand is what helped me get promoted into the executive ranks. And I'm not going to disagree with you. You do have a brand. And I would also agree that the brand that you created over, what, the previous at least about nine to ten years, which is about how long it takes for a female to get into the executive ranks, over those nine to ten years, you absolutely created a brand. It probably had a lot to do with achieving and performing and delivering and all of these things. But I will tell you that that is not an executive brand. That's a professional brand, okay? And there's a difference. A professional brand is a brand that you have created to be the executor, to be the doer, to be the problem solver, to get things done, right? And that's what you do in the early years of your career. You are the doer. You are the executor. You are the firefighter that puts out the fires. That is a professional brand. That is not an executive brand, okay? An executive brand is one that embodies executive leadership. Right. And so what I see commonly is that brand new executives will take their professional brand and try to carry it over into the executive seat. It happens. But those individuals don't get to stay in the executive role very long because a professional brand and an executive brand are not the same. Can you take bits and snippets about who you are at your core from your professional brand and carry it into your executive brand? Yes. OK, you can. And, and there are pieces that you should carry forward, but you cannot pick up your professional brand, drop it into the executive seat, and think that that's going to work. It does not, okay? You must have a very specific executive brand because you were doing things very differently at the executive level that you were doing at you know a manager level or even a director level, all right? So now let's talk a little bit about, again, what the executive brand is. If we know it's not a professional brand, then what is an executive brand? And an executive brand is truly the embodiment of how you deliver executive level value each day in a way that is unique to you, in a way that uses your gifts and your talents in the way that only you can. That's why it's your brand and not someone else's brand, okay? That's what the executive brand is. I'll say it one more time. An executive brand is the embodiment of how you deliver executive level value each day in a way that is unique to you. Pretty powerful, huh? Now, why does an executive brand matter? If we understand that that's what an executive brand is, we know what it isn't, and now we know what it is, then why do we care about it? Well, this executive brand ensures that you deliver executive level performance at the highest level by ensuring that you're adding daily value, okay? Your brand matters because you want to add the highest level of value. 
That's what you exist to do. We all exist in the business world to add value. That's what consumers want is added value. That's what companies want from employees is added value. And your brand ensures that you don't just add a little bit of value, but you add the highest level. That's the key. That's why we can't take the professional brand and drop it into an executive role. It won't work. The executive brand is the only brand that you can have delivering value in a way that only you can deliver it and you do it every single day at the highest level. Now, why do you want to deliver value at the highest level? Because number one, you want to serve. That's just who you are at your core. That's why we show up every single day. We want to serve, okay? We want to deliver in our roles. We want to have impact. And when we do those things out of service, then we naturally get things coming back to us in return. We earn our executive bonuses. We get our raises. We get our promotions. We get all the things, okay? And so that's why the brand matters. An executive brand is the only way that you're going to be successful in an executive seat because it's the combination of you, your personality, your gifts, your talents, melded with the concept and the understanding of how the organization defines value, what they expect from you. So they set the targets. You take your brand, your gifts, your talents, your all the things that are you, your understanding of executive leadership and the way that you apply that, and you use your brand to deliver in the role, to generate performance, to generate success, to generate results. That's why this brand matters. Now, what I want you to do for a second is I want you to think about an executive that you admire. It could be in your own organization. It could be in another organization. I mean, I can think of a lot of different people. I think about Oprah, right? She's absolutely an executive that I admire. Think about her brand and all of the things that she does in this world. She is so impressive and impactful. I cannot say enough positive things about her. But I want you to think about an executive that you admire, and then I want you to, once you have them in your mind's eye, I want you to ask yourself why you admire that individual. Why do you admire them? And I will tell you that of all the things that you write down, all the things that you come up with, it's going to be the information that you come up with. It's going to fall under two specific buckets, right? Two categories. It's going to be the way they lead, and it's going to be their character, right? How they do it. That's uniquely them. In other words, you admire them for their brand. You don't call it their brand necessarily. You don't think about it in those terms, but that's what it is. And that is the purpose of an executive brand. Okay? You with me? So we know what the brand is. It's how you deliver executive level value every day in a way that's unique to you. That's what it is. We must have a brand because it's really the only way to succeed at the executive level. It's the only way to deliver results. It's the only way to have the impact that you want to have. It's the only way to then earn in return for all the hard work you've put in. And it's not really that hard of work, quite frankly. It's just properly leading at the executive level, right? Then you get that bonus. You get your raise. You get a promotion. You get the rewards, right, for all of the success that you've generated specifically because of your brand. That's the purpose. So what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and grab your workbook. If you haven't downloaded it, please go ahead. It's free. All right, so there's no reason for you not to get the workbook. Get the workbook. I'm going to ask you some questions in there. I want you to go through it to really help you dial in, drill into the purpose of your executive brand. And then next week, we're going to dive into what an ideal brand looks like. What does an ideal brand look like? How do we know what a really good executive brand looks like? So I can't wait to spend some time with you next week. Get the workbook. Take care of it. If you're already thinking, Katrina, whoo, this is blowing my mind. I know I need a brand. I know that I need a little bit more help. I got you. I've got you. I'll put a link at the bottom of the information for this episode. Hit it. Schedule a call with my team. We would love to do an executive brand assessment with you. That's what it is. It's a free 30 minute call and we'll do a brand assessment with you and then we'll give you some tips and tricks and some resources to help you move forward. Okay. All right. Go and be legendary.